It'll go down, it'll just run every tag. It's fast as you can drive by them. Sergeant Brian Hounshell has three extra eyes, automated cameras that capture license plates and automatically run them through the computer. Anytime that little beep, that's it's actually reading a plate. It's called license plate recognition, or LPR. If there's a stolen vehicle in this parking lot, the system will find it. Medium alert. A single officer can check as many as 4,000 license plates in an eight-hour shift. Within the past four or five minutes that we've been operating the vehicle, we have um, read 62 license plates. But here's where it gets really interesting. The scans from dozens of cruisers like this are also saved indefinitely. A photo of the plate, a snapshot of the car, the GPS location, time and date for every car the system sees. All of that information is then sent back to a law enforcement investigative database where we can search uh, retroactively for vehicles that possibly were involved in crime or involved in crime in the future. Cincinnati police IT expert Heather Witten oversees the nation's only three-state LPR database. It's a total of 54 agencies in a 12-county region, Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. It's called SOSINC, the Southern Ohio, Southern Indiana, Northern Kentucky LPR database. How many plates has it captured so far? 11.5 million as of this morning. 11 11.5 million. Your car is probably in here and more than once. When you drive by it, it catches your license plate. It's, it's that simple. Warren County investigators ran my plate through the system and found a snapshot of my car on Columbia Parkway from the night before. In the event that you're either a suspect or a victim in a crime, for example, um, we can go back and kind of retrace some steps, but that's the only time the information is used. For more than 100 years, the fingerprint has been used for identification, but really became a powerful investigative tool with the development of APHIS, the electronic central database for searching fingerprint records. Then came DNA and CODIS, the central electronic database for searching DNA records. To have these on file, you would have already had to have contact with law enforcement. That's where SOSYNC is different, and it's really minority report. Because a suspect's license plate can be searched even weeks before he knew he was going to commit the crime. When we captured that plate, the officer in the field didn't receive an alert because that vehicle wasn't involved in crime. But that night, that individual went and robbed a UDF. And now we knew that they were in the area that same day. Just like here, we could be driving through this parking lot, capturing these tags. Um, two hours later, it could be a home invasion robbery. And you've taken a picture of the tag, not even knowing that something was going to happen here. This kind of time travel isn't just theory. People are now behind bars because of it. This fire in Walnut Hills was set to conceal a double homicide. But the victim's car was captured by a Cincinnati LPR cruiser an hour before the bodies were discovered. They then took that picture, again, the power of the photo, and handed it out at roll call and said, this is the exact car. This is what it looks like. And they canvassed the area and within a few hours located the vehicle. The murderer was found, arrested, and convicted. It saved our investigators time and effort. Ultimately, it saves the city money because we're not out chasing false leads. If you have a name that came up in relation to a homicide and your LPR data can confirm that yes, that person's vehicle was in that area, it makes that guy a stronger suspect. Warren County caught a serial burglar with the help of LPR. Police say Ryan Bowman stole an engagement ring from this jewelry store. We developed a suspect off of a fingerprint hit at a crime scene. Um, once we got that, we found out his vehicle. We ran his vehicle through the license plate reader system. The suspect's plate had been captured 15 times by seven different tri-state police departments. With a click of the mouse, detectives got the photos, a map, and satellite view showing exactly where his car was when the plates were captured. And in the areas that we got on the license plate hits were pawn shops and gold shops. We checked those shops found items that had been pawned. Bowman was convicted on multiple burglaries and the stolen items were returned to the victims. It captures a photo of the car and it sometimes the photo is so good that you can even see the driver in the vehicle. To have this data, GPS coordinates and photos of a suspect in a vehicle in the area of a crime scene is, is crucial. But this technology can also be used to confirm an alibi, allowing investigators to quickly move on to the real killer. You can't say, why did you run my plate? Well, I didn't. The camera ran every plate that it could possibly see, and yours was included. So there is no 
there's no discrimination, there's no profiling. Cincinnati paid for its LPR cruisers, but most of the 75 plus systems in the tri-state as of next month are funded by Homeland Security and federal grants fund Witten's database. Created by a public IT employee, the 11 and a half million record database is now the national model. You were hired to fix printers and update software? I mean, is I was hired for help desk, yes. And you created help. And now I'm managing a multi-state license plate recognition program. <laughs> it is kind of spooky knowing there's a database tracking your car, but it's not unlike surveillance cameras or even credit card records. This is yet another digital footprint, one investigators can later use to find missing people or hunt down a killer. There's no flag, there's no alert, there's nothing to point anyone to it unless either you become a victim of crime or you commit a crime. The database is not public. It's a secure law enforcement system like Leeds or NCIC. And every time an officer manually enters a plate or checks one, their name is logged. Most important, the 54 tri-state departments involved do not use the system for traffic enforcement or revenue generation. 23 more cruisers will get LPR cameras in March. And Tanya, the amazing thing is that when my picture was grabbed the, the, of my plate in my car, the officer was actually outside the vehicle issuing a ticket to someone else, mm. and the computer automatically snapped the photo. Just because the my car, car was going by and could see it. It's automated. It's fascinating, it's amazing, but it's kind of scary. It is indeed, and privacy is a concern going forward with a weapon, obviously, this powerful. It, it works both ways. Very powerful stuff. Mm. Thanks for bringing it to us.